What up, you guys? It's me again. Um, I'm going to be using this phone as well. Um, so, and then, no, this is not a Rolex Submariner. It's a, uh, it's called a Reganode watch. You can get it for like 40 bucks on Amazon Prime. It's a homage, Roma, Rolex, Rolex homage version of a, um, of a watch. See, the crown and stuff. And if you look closely, Rolexes don't uh, tick. They sweep. They don't have a ticking hand. They have a sweeping second hand, meaning it's automatic or mechanical. This is quartz movement. But it looks cool. So um, it looks just like a real Rolex. It's waterproof. I've taken it in the bath many times, even though it says it's not suitable for bathing or swimming or anything. Um... And, uh, but it hasn't stopped on me yet, so I'm just going to keep on wearing this because it's, I'm into Rolex watches, you know, and it, it's a Rolex homage, and obviously I can't afford a Rolex, so I'm not, I, I would never spend $8,000 on a watch. Maybe if I was, like, had $100,000 in my savings account? Yeah. Uh, anyways, um, so, Jesus mentions where their worm dies not and the fire is never quenched what does he mean by by your worm well there's maggots in hell there is maggots in hell hell is not a place of soul sleep it's not a sleep all right people in hell right now are being consciously tortured in hell and yeah in hell fire and i don't know about the demon thing uh, if there's demons torturing people in hell, but people are being, uh, that doesn't even matter because, um, people are burning in hell as we speak. And, um, so, um, so if there's no demons or whatever, that, that wouldn't, doesn't matter because people are on fire in hell, so. Why would it matter? What, what less tor torture would it be if there was demons tearing people apart, you know? Um, I don't know that for sure, nor do I want to find out. Um, if God gave me a vision of hell, or, or uh, a vision of hell, I've had dreams of hell, but not the real place, you know, but um, similar stuff. But you can look on my YouTube channel for dreams. Uh, type in dreams, and some of them will be hell. Anyways, um, I'm not, if God gives me a vision or whatever, that's, that's cool. I, uh, I respect his wishes, but I'm not going to go there after I die to spend eternity. I'm saved. I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior in September 6th of 2014. Said the sinner's prayer from my heart, repented of all of my sins, and, um, So yeah, it's, uh, and I, uh, received the divine presence of the Holy Spirit immediately afterwards. Because it's, it mentions, it mentions it in the Bible. Those who believe in Jesus have eternal life, but those who do not believe in Jesus will not see life for the wrath of God abides on him. All right, so we're... A little zit. It was. All right, Google. One second. Gotta type with both hands. Jesus, uh, we're there. Worm dieth not. All right, it's going, it's Mark chapter 9, verse 44. New American Standard Bible, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. What does that mean, their worm does not die? Well, um, I know for sure that without even reading the Bible, um, that 
there's worms in hell. So you know uh, when um, um, I can't remember, but some place was on fire and destroyed, and they cast they threw the bodies of the dead in one huge pit and then set them on fire. And then there was there's maggots and everything as well. So the worm the worm part represents maggots feeding on the dead. So maggots will feed on you in hell. And their worm they don't die because in real life or in real life in on earth <clears throat> on earth a maggot won't die unless if the flesh of the animal or whatever it's eating is fully consumed. In hell, your flesh is never fully consumed. You're burning alive in hell into a skeletal state of appearance, but you still have flesh on you. Now, I don't understand if, uh, if uh, why the maggots don't die, because obviously in, per in on Earth, maggots do die. They don't live forever. But in hell, I guess maggots are... I don't know. <clears throat> maggots in hell, I guess, are different because they're in the afterlife. I don't even know how maggots are even in hell to begin with because hell is so hot. Only a person, somebody's soul that's eternal can survive it without dying. If your soul wasn't uh, eternal, then um, you would definitely you would die like in not not even one second in hell because your the the place is so hot. Um, so that right there is the wor the worm part where the fire is not quenched is a sad part. People are burning in fire. Wishing, hoping, desperately begging God to stop the fire. But the fire never goes out. Because this is a... I'm very sorry, you guys, to mention this um, analogy, this example. But... Um, fireplace. The fire does not go out un unless if you keep adding wood to it, right? Logs to the fire. Well... Fire has to continuously burn things in order to keep itself going. Sad to say, the, the people in hell are the wood. The people in hell are the wood, and since their soul is everlasting, the fire never goes out because it's continuously burning them. It's, just, it's a real body, just like you and me have right now on Earth. Your soul is just a, a, as real as your flesh like this right here. And, uh, but your nerves are a lot, lot more sensitive. You can, you're more aware of everything in your spirit body. It's, everything's just as real as real life, but, or as, uh, everything on here. But, um, so, uh, people in the Bible have been caught up in visions and they said it, they didn't, in the body, whether in the body or in the soul, they didn't know. So it's just as real as this right here, this video, as you're watching this. It's just as real. So, um, that being said right there, that's just, I, I, I really hate to give that example, but it's, it makes sense. The e people's souls in hell are the wood that's burning. And, um, more... As you add more logs to the fire, more people are being, um, are going to hell when they die. There's, as I made this, as I started this video, from this, from the second you started this video until now, there have been at least hundreds and thousands of people who have just died. They've taken their last breath. And only like maybe 2% of them out of 100 are going to heaven. The other ones, I'm sure, are, are in hell right now. They probably arrived in hell like 
months and months ago, even though it's been less than 11 minutes um, that I made this video, because the time in hell, time in eternity, seconds are like hours or days, and... Um, minutes are like weeks, like 60 minutes, an hour is 60 minutes. So that's probably like 60 weeks or 60 months or 60 years because it is mentioned in the Bible somewhere. I got to find it. Um, a day on earth is a thousand years in heaven. That's why... When I when I put in my video titles Rapture Soon, I'm not talking about Rapture Soon Earth Time. I'm talking about Rapture Soon God Time. Of course, we're seeing the signs around the world and stuff that it's going to happen soon. But that could be like 500 years from now, you know? Um, I hope not, but... Um, people who have dreams and visions of the Rapture, they say God says... There's no more time. Time is up. That's God's time. God's time could be like 500 years Earth time. So, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, sad video, but it's it's true. So, if you're not a Christian, if you're unborn, if you're not a born-again Christian, if you think you're saved, but don't know for sure, or... If you um, are an atheist or agnostic, agnostic, I was agnostic before I got saved. I was like, sure, okay, if God exists, that's cool. I'll be in heaven for eternity. Uh, I, I've lied and I've gotten drunk. I've done Benadryl, overdosed on Benadryl for recreational use. That's not enough to send me to hell. I'm not a murderer. I was so wrong after I got saved. One lie, one lustful thought, one foolish thought is enough to get you out of heaven is enough to send you to hell for all eternity right after you die. Um, so the only one who lived a sinless life was Jesus Christ. Anyways. Where was I? Uh, yeah, if you're atheist, agnostic. Atheist, agnostic. An unbeliever, which is an atheist. Or somebody who thinks they're a Christian, but aren't, don't know for sure. Because you, once you're dead, dead. if you don't know for sure, if, if you think you're saved, but don't know for sure, so you're 99% sure, then after you die, you're going to hell. You know, if you score an S... No, I think that should be a, for a different video. Actually, I'll say it in this video, too. Um, a test, an exam. If you score 99% out of 100, if you get a 99% and... uh. What is it? A B plus or something? Right underneath an A? That's that's awesome, right? You barely almost made it. But with God, it's 100%. And we can't do 100%. We can't even do 1% of... Um, to uh, please God without Jesus Christ. So you need Jesus Christ in your heart to make it 100%. Because he did it. He paid the penalty for our sins on the cross at Calvary 2,000 years ago. He did 100%. He did it. He scored a, a and like a trillion pluses. So, accept him as your Lord and Savior and you will receive his life in you. He saves us from... God poured out his wrath on his son, Jesus Christ, on the cross, right? So, And Jesus took the wrath so we don't have to take it upon ourselves. So I encourage you to say this prayer if you mean it with everything that you have. It's not the prayer that you're saying, because prayers don't save you. It's the faith that you have coming from your heart, the true desire to follow God and to escape hell and to follow God and to be saved and to spend eternity with him. I encourage you to say this. Or actually, first, you have to repent, like, ask God for forgiveness of all the sins that you're sorry for. Anything that you're sorry for in your life, confess it out loud. 
and then say this prayer. On your, get on your knees, humbly place your hands like this, and close your eyes, and say, Dear Jesus, I believe that I am a sinner. And don't scratch your nose. Dear Jesus, I believe that I am a sinner and that I cannot save myself. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. And God the Father rose you again on the third day. God your Father poured his wrath out on you on the cross so that I don't have to take that wrath. So that you can free me from sin and take me to heaven when it's my time to die. I ask you, Lord Jesus Christ, can you please come into my life? Please come into my heart. I want to be saved from hell. Can you please save my soul? I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior. Please grant me the gift of your Holy Spirit. In your name, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. If you meant that with everything you have, you have to erase all thought from your mind. All thought. A blank slate from your mind and focus only on that prayer. Because your heart's not right here. Your true heart is in here. And this, your heart cannot completely truly activate unless if you... Unless if first that unless if you first erase all thought from here and focus solely only on that prayer. That's what I did and it worked. So it's your choice. If you don't believe this video, if you don't believe that Jesus or God is real or whatever, not believing something does not make it not true. If you don't believe anything, that's not going to change the fact that it's true. So, if you're an atheist, if you're if you don't accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, get saved. Ephesians chapter 3 ver 2 verse 8 through 9 states, "For it is by grace that you've been saved through faith." Faith. It, you only only saved through faith by saying that prayer. It's not the prayer that that uh saves you. It's the faith that's coming out of your mouth and your heart when you're saying that prayer. For it is by grace that you've been saved through faith and not of yourselves. You can't get saved by your own works. All of our works, all of our good deeds, everything that we do that we think is good and pleasing God, giving money to charity, homeless, being nice, loving. The most loving person in the entire world is going to hell if they have not received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior because all of our good works are as filthy rags compared to God's standard of perfection. Not of yourselves, for it is a gift of God, the gift of God that he sent his one and only begotten son to die for us on the cross of Calvary. If Jesus didn't die on the cross, we would all be in hell. So it's a miracle. It's beautiful. It's Even though he died a horrific death, it's beautiful that he died because in hell and then the lake of fire, we're going to experience torture worse than God even went through. God, Jesus Christ. We're going to experience torture and torment that Jesus went through for all eternity, every second, forever. So if you're if you're an atheist and you're saying watching this video and like, oh, I don't believe this guy. I don't believe this guy who I'm watching right now. Guess what? All unbelievers say or uh, the Bible says all unbelievers shall have their part in the lake of fire. Unbelievers are going to the exact same place as Satan's going. And the demons. And not believing something, again, not believing something does not make it not true. So if you don't, if you're saying, I, I don't believe this. I'm an atheist. I don't believe God exists. Hell, heaven, that's bogus. I'll never believe. 
I can't fathom somebody who will send people to hell for all of eternity to be tormented. Well, guess what? The Bible just... Jesus actually mentioned that, and he just told you where you will end up as an unbeliever. So, just because you don't believe it doesn't mean it's not true. Because it is true. The afterlife is more realistic than this earth that we're experiencing right now. Because in heaven, our senses are so much more, we're so much more aware of stuff. Our sense of smell, there's going to be other colors that never exist in this world. Um, animals that we've never seen, that we've never even heard of, like beyond dinosaurs. Um, so our hearing, everything, so... In hell, it's the same thing. Your senses are more your your sense of smell is more aware because you're going to be smelling rotting flesh, hanging off people's bones while they're burning in fire for all of eternity. Um, the pain is infinite. Uh, all you, you won't be able to speak. All you're going to be able to do is scream at the top of your lungs. So, I encourage you. To reconsider, because if if you're an atheist or agnostic or somebody who thinks that they're saved, 99%, say that prayer from your heart, and your life will change. You'll be saved. All truth will be open to you. You'll know within seven seconds that it's all real. Satan, demons, heaven, hell, your soul, God, Jesus... Everything. And so, if you're an unbeliever, and if you're like, oh, I don't believe Zach, I don't believe this guy I'm, sp I'm watching on TV, on uh, this video right now. Guess what? You will be going to the same place that the devil will be going to. You'll be like, oh, sure, okay, I, I hear him saying that, those words right now, and I'm, and I'm laughing about it, because... This dude must be nuts. Um, well, guess what? Once you once you die in that state of unbelief, you're going to remember. You have your memory in hell. You are going to remember this video and are going to be regretting beyond imagination that you never said the prayer that I um, that I uh, told you to say in this video, and it will be too late. There would be nothing you could do. Once you're in hell, there's no escape. The only escape of hell is on earth by getting saved by Jesus Christ. Hope you guys enjoy this video. This video is almost a half an hour long because it is very vital. So, in hell, where their worm dies not and the fire is not quenched. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I got more to come. Got more ideals. Talk to you later. Peace.